And looking at the drought situation in the country, an estimated 6.4 million people will be in dire need of humanitarian assistance by January 2023. Deputy President Trigathi Gashagwa has revealed that the government is increasingly becoming overwhelmed as the drought situation worsens with 14 counties now in the alarm phase up from 11 counties reported last month. Gashagwa was speaking as he commissioned a 15-member National Steering Committee on Drought Response appointed by President William Ruto as part of efforts by the government to foster collaboration with the non-state or with non-state actors to bridge the funding gap for drought response programs. Kenyans of goodwill have been urged to contribute to this cause. With parts of the country receiving a bit of rainfall, there are others that remain dry. And for more than half of the counties in Kenya, the situation is still bad due to four consecutive seasons of failed rainfall. It is a regional problem. An estimated 5.1 million people are currently facing starvation. Those in dire need of food aid are projected to surpass the 6 million mark by January 2023. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa says the government is facing a huge funding deficit for drought response. On Monday, I joined the United Nations family in Malimin, Garissa County, for the launch of a flash appeal for 472.6 million US dollars to support 4.3 million drought affected Kenyans in 23 Asal counties, out of an estimated 6.4 million people projected to require humanitarian assistance across the country. This initiative will assist to bridge the government resource gap as the drought crisis worsens. 31 counties are affected, with three more joining the red zone, raising the total number of counties in the alarm drought phase to 14. These are Laikipia, Marsabit, Garissa, Isiolo, Kilifi, Kwale, Samburu, Tana River, Tarakanithi, Turkana, Wajia, Kitui, Kajiado, and Mandera counties. Recovery from a drought of this magnitude will take years, with extremely high humanitarian needs set to persist and even increase in 2023. We have to act now to save lives, and for this, more funds are crucial. Gashagwa commissioned a National Steering Committee on Drought Response, whose members were appointed by President William Ruto. It will, among other things, mobilize resources to augment the government's drought response program. This team's effort will therefore be only as good as our willingness to lend a helping hand. We appeal to Kenyans of goodwill to contribute a percentage of their salaries to pay to a pay bill number that will be established soon by this committee. Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa will lead the 15-member committee, which was gazetted on the 21st of November 2022. It comprises of CEOs of different banks, including Equity, Diamond Trust, African Banking Corporation, Kenya Commercial Bank, Family Bank of Kenya, as well as heads of other private companies, and humanitarian organizations who have committed to ensure that every Kenyan has food on their plate. We look forward to working with all those involved to ensure that we implement appropriate measures uh, and actions to reduce the vulnerability to and the impact of the perennial drought. Thank you, Your Excellency. As this happened in the capital, thousands of affected families in Nkorika area of Kajiado County received a donation about 59 tons of assorted food items from the National Youth Service. Njai imetusumbua sana. Baka inabidi tunakula ngombe waliokufa misoga. Watoto tunashamishia, tukule, nduwa watu wa alale sikuwi ya kuwa na kitu kwa tumboni. Wakati tu ya hayo yalitokea ilibidi tu, tu, tuweze kujitoa na kujinyima muhanga eh, chakula siku moja kama vijana wa idara uduma wa taifa bila kushurutishwa na tukasema kwamba lazima tujumuike na wa Kenya wenzetu waweze kupata chakula pia waweze kutisi. Kenyans of goodwill have been urged 
to give towards the noble cause of supporting those affected. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.